This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride, where we've been sucking less every year for well over 10 years, and this is the Cardiff Swell Solid Review. I rode this with Union Atlas, uh, my Burton Kendos, and Burton Imperials, and I got this in a decent amount of conditions, but no powder. Unlike the Pagoda, we just didn't get any good snow in the time that we had it, so it was mainly groomers. To give you a short summary, this is a very turny, a little more technical than the Bonsai and the Pagoda we rode, and just a little more of an aggressive board in some aspects, and more technical in others. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I mean, I definitely, this board wanted to turn. And if yes. You're, if you're someone that, you know, isn't necessarily about that hard charging, fast, no turn line, and you're more about, you know, making those easy sole turns where it almost hooks uphill, uh, this board, my goodness, uh, did a fantastic job at that. Yeah, and you could really feel this side cut in the snow mm -hmm. and I think that's what I mean by it being the most technical of yeah. all the boards that we've tried so far from Cardiff. Let's talk about sizing. Um, I felt like this 60 swell was just right for my size 9 boots, yeah. my 190 pounds. It worked really well for that. I didn't feel like I should be sizing up or sizing down. It felt just right. How about you? Yeah, I know the 160 felt really good. I'm a size 10 boot and uh, didn't have any issues towing out at all. Or What's your weight? 175. Yeah. As far as the shape goes, it's tapered directional. It's got a pointy wide nose instead of kind of like a long wide nose mm -hmm. like the Pagoda. And it's got a little more camber than the Pagoda, about the same, I think, as the Bonsai. Yeah. And I just felt like there was a little, I felt this camber more. Yeah. And it felt like, like, it felt even more than the Bonsai. The Bonsai felt like mellow cross, like it felt damp and fast and it wanted yeah. to go. But this felt a little more locked in, mm -hmm. um, a little more technical, a little more catchy yeah. than uh, the Bonsai. And and definitely a lot more than the Pagoda. But it's more advanced expert riders only, don't you think? I would definitely say with that camber profile, uh, definitely easier to catch an edge if you're not used to maintaining that speed and, and really actively initiating your turns. Yeah. Now let's do the flex here. We'll start with the top. You know, medium stiff at the nose here. Right in the middle, stiff, stiff just super stiff and then we got the tail here you know um, pretty stiff a little stiffer than the nose I felt like I could butter this pretty well yeah. in the nose and the tail like it I could do a tripod I could butter off the tail and lean back okay I thought it would be harder than what it was for uh, how locked in it felt totally. and how stiff it was yeah no I definitely uh, you know buttered a little bit on the tail Typically don't nose butter too much in the harder stuff, but uh, definitely had some flex that you could work with. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, versatile in that way. It popped really well. Um, yeah. All these Cardiff boards pop really well. I love... Yeah, a I lot of energy in these boards. Yeah, 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 for sure. As far as speed goes, the base glide is exceptional. I love all the Cardiff boards for base glide, and this is no exception. Yeah. It's it's I, up there with Jones. That's what I was think? about to say. I think it's just on. It's it stands toe to toe with uh, Jones snowboards. They have very fast bases and yeah. Uh, coming, I was like uh, up there with Weston. Absolutely, not quite the Gintim stick base, but but up there. And what know? I was most impressed, with, I'd say, about the base was you know when I, I the second time I got to ride this board, uh, it was late in the day. It had been very warm, a lot of slush, no stick. Uh, oh wow! One, one, with that smoothness. Wow. You know, it did have one good coat of wax on it, but after riding it all day and then touring with it in the end, at the end of the day, uh, it uh, had no issues there. So great board if you're looking to ride late into the season too. Yeah. And as far as like handling chunder and uneven terrain, this is great. Uh, I really think this is kind of like 
this and all the Cardiff boards just yeah. really do a good job at not being too stiff and yeah. too cranky uh, in uneven terrain and then just also having the ability to just absorb it and be damp and fast. You can yeah. power through stuff with this pretty well. What do you think about edge hold? I, I mean, they, grip, they all grip really well. I didn't have any issues. Uh, never slid out on, uh, took multiple runs during the day. And uh, I have to say, yeah, the edge hold was really nice. Like I said, I really wanted to turn, but when you wanted to go fast and hold that edge, uh, no issues at all. Really yeah. nice to see. And turn initiation and carving. I thought the turn initiation was pretty quick, like very quick. Yeah, yeah. like medium fact, quick. I'd say that was the biggest difference I noticed between the bonsai, the pagoda, and this. Is like this thing, like as soon as I even put pressure on the toe edge, it went. It wanted to go that way. Yeah. So you know what's funny is I thought like the bonsai for sure this was faster. Yeah. Um, now with the pagoda. I don't know. I'd love to do an A-B test, totally. get both of them on snow, because this felt a little more technical, a little more locked in. Mm -hmm. But I think, I, you know, I'd love to see how both of them work, because I think the Pau Goda was just a little easier and a little quicker. I think it, was, it felt, to me, it felt a little softer. Um, that camber was, I think, a little further set back yeah. on that Pau Goda, um, which makes it great for those heavy Pau days. Um, I would definitely say that uh, as far as turn initiation goes, this uh, this one right here took the cake for me. I uh, just gotcha. thought it was really easy to turn. And uh, that's one of my favorite things to do, as you know. Like, yeah, me too. Is <laughs> anything that can lay a good trench, you know, uh, I'm going to be out there first thing in the morning. <laughs> yes, and I had some good mornings with this carving. It, it rails a turn super hard. Um, I... I I, I had a lot of fun on the Pau Goda too, which was kind of oh, surprising. Yeah. Um, and I and I really enjoyed that it was an easier carve. Mm -hmm. This is a little more demanding, a little more technical. You've got to be a little more psyched up for your totally. for your day of turning. Mm -hmm. um, and it drained my batteries faster. <laughs> you know, I just felt like I felt like like my carving battery just kept going lower and lower as I rode this throughout totally. the day. Uh, but overall, it's a really hard, springy carver, and mm -hmm. I had a pretty good time with this. And yeah, powder love. or no powder? I'd love. I, I was unfortunate. I wasn't fortunate enough to get any. Uh, I've, I'm fortunate enough to actually have some good powder days with the Pagoda. Yeah. Whereas I didn't get any chance to ride the. I'd love to see how this thing does in deeper the snow. Ben Fawcett turned uh, off. It slowest uh, March year we've had in many years. But I would just based on the setback on board yeah. and the camber profile, even though it's tapered directional, it has a good setback on board, mm -hmm. but I just would prefer the Pagoda. I, when I got that in powder, that was exactly what I wanted. Totally. And, and um, it handled, well, it just handled pretty much anything you threw at it. That was yeah. what I remember. It's just, you know, whether it was big jumps on a pow day, hard turns, big slashing turns, it, you know, it just was a real quiver killer in that sense. But you know what, though, one thing I would think I was thinking about this is I think this would probably be better in really steep angle riding, like mm -hmm. uh, like out in Utah, out in areas, or yeah. just in Tahoe. When you get into some steep powder, uh, this might actually come alive more than the Pagoda. It just feels like something that would be you'd be more confident in and technical stuff, yeah, especially nice if you're a really good rider. Some, some light Utah pow, I think, that oh, would, yeah. I think that would really shine there. But overall, I think I personally like the Bonsai and the Pau Goda better for my riding style. I think it matched up better with me. Mm -hmm. But is this board like bad or anything? No, it's no slouch at all. Absolutely it's a well-built, fast, yeah. uh, turny, carvy, borderline technical ride. Uh, yeah. But if that calls to you, I think this could be your board, especially if you're more of a steep terrain kind of guy. Absolutely, you know, uh, its ability to carve, turn turn on a dime, and uh, its potential to ride well and power just solely, you know, based on the shape. And uh, I think overall it, it would do a really good job. And wouldn't you like to see this top sheet on this? I honestly, yeah, these textured top sheets, they're tougher. Um, they don't scratch as easily. 
Um, I will say, I say the shine, you know, the appeal when that you buy that new, of course, is going to appeal with, to you. But uh, as far as longevity and uh, durability, uh, these textured bases here really do a nice job. They're beautiful boards, though. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, Off the tail. Thought it was coming right at me. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> but, uh... That was another day to pick it back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average writer's perspective. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything, unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the MeHarmony profile in the Contact Us section of the site, it's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.